Three, two, one. <laughs> Hello, thank you for the counting. So uh, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, uh, everybody. This is an informal GSOC office hour where no real agenda is foreseen. We just meet and answer questions. Uh, we recorded a little bit late and uh, there was an interesting question from uh, Mukul where he wanted to have some ideas and maybe advice on how to better handle uh, discussions uh, on GitHub. So it appears that uh, Mukul proposed something or somebody proposed something in a PR. Additional informations were uh, requested and somehow uh, the point was not really understood and uh, there was an impedance mismatch and it didn't work. So the communication did not work. Uh, so I open it. So who would like to start answering? Uh, uh, I just have one, one question. Uh, I just posted a link to the PR that I think you're referring to, Mukul. And uh, could you please confirm yes, that yes. that's yeah that the one? All right. Yes, so, that's the PR. Right, okay. Right. Um, so I'm I'm just breathing through the the PR and um, I see that uh, so there's a lot of a change with Chris, um, with the maintainer of, of the plugin. And um, from what I see, she's trying to, um, she's not, he, if she, uh, yeah, he sorry, uh, he is uh, trying to um, uh, push you to uh, express what you're trying to um, say in the PR a bit more precisely. And the different exchange, at the end, the, the PR was closed because it was not answering the, 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 issue you mentioned on the at the beginning of, of the request and we had a lot of uh, documentation and a lot of explanation uh, going through the the pr and so um the um uh, I, I think in the end uh, uh chris added the uh rfe Label, just to mention that maybe that's um, more a new feature that you were trying to address rather than mm -hmm. a, a fix or something like that. Um, but to your question, how to handle better uh, the miscommunication and so on, I think on both sides, you did the, your best uh, to explain uh, your different points uh, uh, and uh, the different aspect of that PR. Um, it seemed that I didn't see the, I didn't pay attention to the uh, time window. So it's all happened in a, in the same day. But I yeah. see that there's like 38 messages exchanged in that PR. Mm -hmm. I think at some point, um, when, you are, when you reach that number of message and the point is still not, uh, uh, understandable or comp comprehensive for both party or everyone on the involved in the PR. It probably means uh, the the only solution forward is to close the PR because it seems to have a, a fundamental miscommunication or disagreement that will not reach any consensus or reach any any uh, viable solution. Uh, for both party, and in the end, uh, it, it's it's not like a dictatorship. Um, the but the maintainer has uh, the the power on the on the on the on the plugin. He can accept uh, because in the end, uh, the maintainer is responsible to keep the plugin LC and to keep the plugin working for a very long time, uh, more than just your contribution. So um, if it, it can happen. It, it did happen to me in the past also to refuse a pull request just because I didn't see the point of the pull request. I didn't see uh, what was the value uh, of the addition. And I, oh, because I was um, 
uh, not sure how to maintain that in in the in the long term. Uh, maybe you're trying to solve a solution, but the way you are trying to solve it is not um, uh, the, the best way to to do it, and not the most maintainable way to do it. So it, it, don't take it personally. Uh, yeah. It's not it, it's not against you. It's not because you are you because of uh, whatever uh, personal reasons, really, it's um, in the end, the, 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 the uh, and I, I don't know Chris personally, but I, uh, I, uh, I'm sure the, the, the reason is just for the uh, sake of the plugin else and its long term maintainability. That's all. So don't take it personally. I think you did your best to uh, try to um, make your point and try to uh, offer your uh, your solution to the plugin. Uh, but in the end, sometimes it doesn't make it, doesn't mean that you shouldn't try to contribute to it again. It doesn't mean that you should stop contributing to anything. Uh, uh, on the contrary, um, please continue. You will learn from that. And maybe next time it will be easier for Chris to understand your point or to um uh or to uh, to understand what you are trying to add um one comment i will i would i would add um, to maybe to improve the being of the this of the of the pull request is your first message on the pull request is quite small um it can make sense to you but maybe uh being a bit more descriptive on your first when you open uh, the the pull request uh will help a lot uh, in the future. Um, in many cases, I prefer to have a five minute read when I open up uh, uh, something to read for five minutes when I uh, first, uh, on the first message of the pull request uh, that sets uh, what the pull request is trying to solve, why the problem was uh, reported, uh, how I try to, how the pull request author try to solve it um, what is the context to reproduce the problem if it's a bug fix or what is the uh, um, miscommunication or the, uh, the misinformation uh, in the documentation that you're trying to uh, change. Uh, mm -hmm. So half of the work of the pull request sometimes is the pull request description itself. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. I have a few comments before maybe letting somebody else. So first thing, uh, it is a super idea, Mukul, to have raised that question. It's very interesting and uh, we would like to help you understand and uh, uh, see what happens. So the summary of what Adrian said, it is very important that we have efficient communication. The reason for that is that uh, mentors or maintainers have a lot of parallel requests and things to handle. So the, the advice of having a strong uh, a description at start definitely helps uh, to, uh, to, 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 to get the review going. The second thing that I've seen is that there were a lot of confusions in, in from what, what I've seen uh, in it. So several topics and uh, at the end, it was somehow related to the issue, but not really. And uh, the idea has been picked and flagged as a request for enhancement. This is the meaning of RFE, if you are wondering what it what it means. So this is a request for enhancement. So he said, well, okay, this is an idea we need to, to, to keep note of, but at the end, uh, looking at it, it was far too confused in, in too many things. It was better to start again on a blank page and, and take it over uh, later. Mukul, does that make sense to you? And then I'll give work, word to others if they want to comment on it. Mukul, go ahead. Yes, yes. yes, yes. How did you feel about that? Uh, at first, like, um, 
during that uh, solving that PR, firstly I learned a lot. I learned Ruby. I uh, explored the GitLab code base uh, for this, like how they are approaching this and what they have done, and on the GitLab plugin page, like how it is handled, why that bug was happening. So. Uh, throughout this, I learned a lot, even though the PR didn't get accepted. Uh, but I want, uh, like... Uh, Did you feel this, attacked? This, no, no, uh, I didn't feel attacked. Uh, what Adrian said, I accept with what Adrian said, um, that uh, my PR at start wasn't clear. Like, it didn't mention the points that I had to mention afterward in the conversation. Mm -hmm. So, and I didn't feel attacked. Like it was normal to have conversation. Uh, I didn't clear, uh, clear it out what I was trying to uh, do in that PR. So, mm -hmm. but like what I want uh, is to clear that uh, what I can do in future that uh, make my PR uh, accepted uh, faster. Based on the conversation that uh, from Adrian and the summary that I tried to do, what would you do? What did you learn from it? Uh, basically that uh, at start, I have to uh, summarize what I am trying to do in, a, uh, in the comment it's comment not comment in the pr itself like description of the pr that uh, uh -huh. uh like what i can converse later on like what i can explain later on the uh through uh the chat through the comments uh like what i have tried to uh talk with the uh with uh with chris the maintainer uh, with chris, yeah chris uh, mm -hmm. i can do that there on in the comments, uh, in the comment of the PR, like there is mm -hmm. while raising it. So this can clear it uh, faster for the maintainer so that they can easily accept it when, uh, like they can easily understand it when they just uh, go through it at the first uh, time. Right, okay. Now, uh, especially when you're learning and you're getting into a, a, a code base and things like that, so, Put yourself at the place of the person reading it and, and ask yourself, how would I react? Uh, how would, because here it's a conversation of 35 messages or with, with just uh, a limited number of information. So try to, to think, oh, he would like to know this or he needs this context. And so it's not because it's clear in your head that other people know what you have been thinking about. So take the extra step to, to give the context, explain the problem you're try, trying to solve so that we have this flow of somebody else. And this is an important skill uh, to, uh, to acquire. Is there somebody else who would like to, to give a comment or ask something around that? I liked your question very much, Mukul. It means you're thinking. Much appreciated. Yeah, and uh, just to add a lot of the open source uh, work is on communication as well. It's very important. We all work on different aspects. We have day jobs. Um, we, but we all are, are focused on the same project, at least for a period of time. And communicating and expressing yourself is very important. So the, this meeting, for example, is one way to do that. And we have other SIG meetings in Jenkins community. We have the mailing list, Gitter, uh, Discuss, and so on and so on. And so we have many ways to communicate and uh, through PR like you did. Uh, everything, yeah, it's very important and in the end if there's something that is not uh clear to everyone and mainly to the maintainer it 
that that's why it got closed in the end it, that's my personal opinion is if there's a me if, if if there's something that is not understood correctly by the maintainer um it's his right to 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 close the yeah, yeah. Now he he's policing in in organizing the work uh, on his plugin, and we need to respect it. And uh, uh, he's responsible of, of that. So at certain time, he said, "Here, this this conversation is leading nowhere." Uh, maybe hint on um, maybe restart or or so, or or take it up later. So especially as here. Uh, we are now in a special period uh, where we try to concentrate on the proposals and only the proposal not to be influenced by external uh, things. So anyway, good, good question. And we'll try to explore that uh, later in other uh, discussions, how we can improve that. Um, I have a question, like in the Jenkins community, we have a lot of online meetings related to different uh, stuff and like I just I was just exploring. So should I try to attend every meeting like it's very <laughs> hard to just try to get to know everything. Oh, where do you think I got my gray hairs from beside of my daughter? So it's just, it's a huge <laughs> amount of information. So yes, I, I, I know the pain. I know the pain. And, uh, but he, here, the only thing I can say is um, you're in front of a big mountain and it looks very, very high and difficult. And once you start, one step after the other, you will realize, oh, it's not that complicated. I'm in the middle. You will still be focused on the top. But if you turn around and realize, oh, I know already all that. So uh, uh, I'm mastering these part, these parts. I can help others that are lower on the mountain. So don't give up. And I, I I know the feeling of this this uh, daunting pressure there. The only thing I can say here, how exciting it is. There's so many things to explore, try to understand. But I stop chatting. So there, but good point. Good point. Yes, it's actually very interesting to explore everything. And it's just so overwhelming. Get to know everyone. And the work. Uh, <laughs> now, I will. I will take again my my uh, lead mentor or lead uh, org admin uh, their hat, and say, here, this is really the interesting school of this open source adventure that you are embarking that you embarked on, are still uh, in. You are learning many many skills that will be very helpful for you professionally later in your open source career and also as as a person so your your how do you organize your work how you organize your 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 time how you discuss with people how do you learn a new topic so this is an incredible tool uh to to learn in in the well, I'm advocating and is selling it, but I think open source is is a great way to invest your time outside of school. So I, I shouldn't be so much yeah. advocating it, Thank but uh, I, I I strongly believe that, uh, and you made a good choice. Okay, so uh, this time will stop on time in three minutes because we have uh, so i have a meeting uh in three minutes and uh, even have a conflict between meetings so i'll have to flip a coin to decide which meeting i'm going to to 
and I see Alyssa smiling, so she knows what I'm talking about. So we're going to end here. Uh, I just opening for a last minute comment or question or whatever. Otherwise, we're going to switch off. Okay. So thank you very much for attending. Uh, it's it's great to meet you all and uh, exchanging. Uh, continue the best, and I'm very honored to participate in in that. So uh, this said, I will close the call and move to other discussions topics. So have a great week. Bye bye everybody. Thanks, Jeremiah. And meet you. Bye Thank bye you, everybody. Everyone. Bye. Have a good day. bye. bye. Thank you. A bigger problem is that it's